will give us a more flexible... Increasing the participation of women in disciplinary forces is one of the desired outcomes of the biannual Future Leaders Summit. PNG Defence Force Commander Gilbert Toropo announced his support for women soldiers, highlighting the significant roles women can play in the PNG DF. The summit also sought to promote the professional development of women in our security forces, with the role of women being highlighted in peace and security, and I'm very pleased that this important topic again given some pro prominence in the summit. Since the establishment of PNGDF, there were only male soldiers until 2011, when the first batch of women soldiers were recruited. PNGDF now has close to 300 women soldiers and naval officers. For the RPNGC, the figures are slightly higher. From the estimated 6,000 police officers, 700 are women. We recognise an increased female participation in the ADF is vital to improving our capability and our operational effectiveness into the future. In that regard, I'm, I'm pleased to see the gender balance in the room at the moment. I would urge that uh, nations use this summit to grow a better understanding of the critical role that women, peace and security play in increasing stability in the region and we look to increase the number of uh, women in these forums into the future. Chief of Australian Defence Force, Marshall Binskins, said the Australian Civil Military Centre promotes women participation in conflicts and the restoration of peace and security. The resolution highlights the important role of women in prevention and resolution of conflicts, humanitarian responses and peace building. It also demonstrates the need to actively encourage women to participate and to incorporate, incorporate gender perspectives in all peace and security efforts. In promoting roles of women in disciplinary forces, female officers in our PNGC are taking the front lines in providing security for wives of the 21 world leaders who will be attending the APEC summit in November. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.